else did it cost? So where did I get it? I'm gonna leave doing this video. What is up, you guys? It's your girl Jada Tasha. I'm back with another video. Period. And today I'm finally doing this video. It's like eight months later. I'm finally doing it, y'all. Y'all been asking me how did I open my shop? How much did it cost? Or where did I get it? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. We're gonna jump straight into it. I'm gonna answer all y'all's questions because I be seeing them in the comments on that video. If y'all know what video I'm talking about, I'm gonna drop it uh, down in the comments. Yeah, I'm gonna drop it in the description box so y'all can go watch that on how I opened my shop and my whole journey for that. But yeah, we're gonna get into the pricing, all the tea. Yeah, but first, before we do that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up and let me know what you guys think about this video. Also, if it's still more questions that you have that you guys have, just drop it down in the comments below and I will answer them. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So a little backstory last year in April, I think I opened my salon and I had just graduated cosmetology school in December. And so uh, after that in 2022, I got my cosmetology license. Uh, I got my cosmetology license in February. Then I opened my shop three months later. Wait, hold on. I opened my shop in May, yeah, I think it was May. It was April or May, but it didn't take long at all. It took me like three months just to do it. But anyway, so that's a little backstory on it. So we're gonna jump straight into these questions. I wrote down a couple questions. I wrote down a couple questions that I seen you guys have in, a, in my comments on my other video. So I'm gonna just kind of read off the questions that I wrote down and I'ma just answer them for y'all, so. Okay, first things first, how did I open my shop? The first thing that I did is, I, mean, I had to make it up in my mind that I wanted my own shop, I wanted, I wanted my own salon. I had to figure out how was I gonna do that? Was I gonna get like a, you know, a lot of people do the sweets now. Where I'm from, like this, really, we don't really have that down here. But I still knew that I wanted my own shop. I didn't want to work at Smart Styles. Like, I didn't think that was for me. It might be for y'all, but it wasn't for me. I knew I wanted to work for myself. I knew I wanted to be my own boss. So, why not open your own shop? Like, yeah. But the first thing first, like, you just have to set, have it set in your mind, like, I'm going to open this shop. Next thing is, I started, like, just looking up information on Google on, like, how big I needed it to get, how, like, did I need electricity or not. And, like, I was also watching, like, other videos on how they open their shop and how much, like, just everything costs. Like, I was on Google, like, just, I had my little notebook writing down information, like, how much different ones cost of different sizes. And so, this was one of y'all questions. How big is my shop? My shop is a 10 by 16. I was going to do it a little bit bigger, but I didn't because I was just in here by myself. If I would have done it with my sister, my sister is a lash tech. So, uh, I think I was going to do 12 by something. I was going to do that because I wanted the space and I thought I was going to be in here. But, didn't do that, but... I still love the size of my shop now. Like, it's the perfect size for just me. So, take that in consideration. Like, if you're going to work with somebody, then you probably want something a little bigger than mine. But if not, even if you have working with somebody bigger than y'all, like, it'll still work out. I have more than enough space. But, yeah, you guys, it is a 10 by 16. Also, I'm going to give y'all a tea. Like, it's an other... No, I'm going to wait to tell y'all that. I'm going to wait to tell y'all that. Okay. Next thing, I actually planned out how I wanted my shop to look. Like y'all, I actually drew out the whole setup and I told y'all I was watching other videos of what they had in their shop, but I kind of knew what I wanted in mine. And if I find the video, I mean not the video, if I find the picture I drew, I'm gonna actually show y'all. 
and that just kind of helped me to see like what all I wanted to put in my shop like I knew I wanted a vanity I knew I needed a sink because I was not trying to like get I forgot what it's called plumbing and all that I wasn't trying to get that in there because I was so ready to open my shop so I just got a portable sink and I will tell y'all where I got that from later on I'll drop it down in the description box but I knew I needed a sink I knew I needed like cabinets and like just drawers to put my products in stuff to put my makeup in shelves um I know I wanted marble for my floors so I got pretty flooring I knew I had to get paint like just draw out like kind of how you want it to go and then start looking on amazon of like things that you want to go into your shop like for me i got the necessities first like i got the sink i got the chairs i got the blow dryer the vanity like those are like my main priorities to get like now that i'm established i'm probably gonna start adding more chairs like a seating area because i don't have that yet but yeah like you just have to figure out what the main things you guys need to get and i'm, I'm gonna tell y'all now i'm gonna tell y'all this tea like i actually got majority of my stuff off amazon for the low for the low low and that's part of the reason how i started my how i opened my shop so low with the price so low and this is a quote that i'm gonna just leave y'all with too that i have wrote down in my notes uh, I think I wrote this like a year ago when I was actually opening my shop and just ideas and everything but I just kept this quote with me it's you don't have to be great to get started but you have to get started to be great that is such a good quote like I swear by that quote now like just stay motivated y'all can do it if I can do it y'all can do it so just keep that quote in mind keep that in the back of your head like y'all can do it you just gotta start honestly like you can't just be saying yeah i'm sorry i'm sorry you actually gotta do it you just gotta you just gotta jump out there and do it the big question what everybody has been asking me where did i get my shed from where did i get my shop from so where i live is this guy i forgot what it's called he has like i don't even know what to call he sells like sheds he sells uh like different cars i i forgot what the what the place was called it's austin something anyway but he he just sells sheds so i was looking around um at like local places around where i live and i came about his i'm gonna just say his live because <laughs> i don't know what to call it his life and he sells like different sheds the first place I was going to go to, I try to find that place. I think they're more known. But the pla the problem with the other place I was first going to get my shop from is I didn't have, um, I don't think I had credit at the time. And I think you had to have credit, like a credit card or whatever. And I didn't have it. I got one now, but I already got my shop up then. And so that's why I couldn't do it with the first one. So I ended up finding a shop at one of the local lots here at my um in my city but yeah it's like he sells sheds for this company and so i'm still trying to help y'all out so i'm gonna tell y'all the company like the company that i got my shop from the company that i still pay through because i don't pay through austin's lot i pay through that company and not they do sell sheds and you might find a place like your city that shit that sells sheds through this company and the company is called red oak rentals and also i'm gonna drop that down in the description if you want to try to go on their website and see what all they have to offer and also y'all wanted to know how much it costs so when i first got it would i actually have to did like i just had to put a down payment and like my down payment is the same as how much I pay now. Y'all, my down payment is only $217. Well, I'm gonna round it up, $218. Like, that's nothing, that's, that's nothing. I'm telling y'all, y'all better go look on there. But yeah, it's like, to open my shop, I only have to put, I think it was a down payment of $218, if I can remember and that's before you know i can get my shop and it took like a 
week, I think, for them to bring it after I had paid for it. And the good thing about my shop, like, it already had kind of like a little bit of electricity in here. Like, I had the electrical box already in here. I had plugs. Um, I had outlets already. But I still ended up, we still ended up adding outlets because I needed more. So, yeah, y'all. Um, I am only paying $218 a month. And I'm paying that for like until 2026. So, it's not going to take long, but yeah. The total of it is, is $5,000. The total is $500. Why do I keep saying 500? It's 5,410. Don't let me lie to y'all. That's the total, like the complete total to it's paid off. And I just did the lowest amount because I don't want to be, I don't know. I just did the lowest amount. You can pay more if you want to, but I just did it. So I'm paying on mine for like three more years, which is fine. Another question I see you guys ask, what if somebody has to go to the bathroom? Okay, like, like I said earlier, like I was so ready to just open my shop and I was gonna think about the other stuff later. <laughs> I was gonna think about the other stuff later. So, I wasn't worried about no bathroom. So, I don't have a bathroom in my shop. What it is like, if somebody needs to go, I just let them go in my house. But, to be, I'm surprised like a lot of people don't act like people really don't ask to go to the bathroom when they come here and I have to do like a service for them. People really don't ask at all. I don't think nobody ever asked since I've done somebody like a service in here. So it really not a problem for me at all. I seen somebody else ask, uh, do I pay for electricity? And no, I do not. So last year when I was like trying to open my shop, before you know, um, me and my family like did the insulation or whatever, I had somebody in mind to do the insulation. I had him in mind to do my electrical work too. But like he wasn't going to the pace that I wanted him to go so he can finish my shop. <laughs> and so we did it, even though we didn't get him to do the insulation, he still ended up doing like the electrical part for me. So, and what he did with the electricals is he added, I think he added a, a box to my actual house. I don't know, it's called, I think it's an electrical box, y'all. I don't know about the technical stuff. I just know like he added like a box, electrical box to my house. I think the outside of the house and maybe the, the inside too. I don't know. But after he did that, he like, in some way, like he added a line to the house, the box that's on the house. Basically, I'm getting electricity from my house. Cut it short, sweet. I'm getting electricity for from my house. So no, I don't pay electricity for the shop. This is the big and final question that y'all kind of wanted to know is how did I fund it? I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna give y'all a tea. Okay, so the tea is, I honestly just paid installments on everything. <laughs> that's it, that's all y'all. Like, I'm, I'm paying rent on my shop, which is $218. I'm still paying like, it's like I'm paying rent for everything. I'm paying on my portable sink, which is $98 a month, which is not bad at all. And you guys, I got my portable sink off Etsy and I'm honestly, I'm almost a year into my salon. And so I got like three installments left. No, wait. I only got a couple more installments basically. I got like $600 left. But the total of the sink within itself is $1,856 and some change. But I'm almost done paying this off, so that's good. And then like my sink, not my sink, my salon chair, my sink chair, my vanity, I'm paying on those. I think I have three installments left on those. And for all three of those, I'm only paying 
$45.31 a month. And for also, I bought a newer, whatever that brand called, I bought a light, and then I bought a hooded dryer off Amazon that I'm paying through um, installments too. And I'm almost done paying off that too. I got like three more installments on that. So that's mainly the rundown of everything that I had to pay for. The, the top two like biggest things that I had to pay for were my shop and my flooring. My flooring was like 300, my flooring was $308 cause I got marble floors and I got that from Wells, but it was worth it. Like they still cute, they still eat, period. But all in all, like y'all, this is how I was able to fund it. Oh, and what I did is, I'm just, I'm just telling y'all all the tea. I used the majority of my tax money, not majority, but I used my tax money last year to fund this whole thing. Like, I knew I wanted to invest in myself. I knew I wanted to be a businesswoman. And I would rather use that money to invest in myself than just blowing it on anything. So that's what I did. That's the big answer. That's how I afforded this whole thing off installments. And I used that money to pay. And also the money that I'm making now, I'm still using it to finish paying off the rest. Like I'm almost a year in. And so I'm almost done paying off everything. The only thing that I'm gonna continue to have to pay on like for like three or four more years is my actual shop. But everything else is almost paid for. And was it worth it? Yes, I'll do it again. i absolutely do it again. But I just wanted to encourage y'all like, just do it. Like, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be hard. It was so hard for me, like honest to God, like I wanted to quit. I didn't want to do it no more after like, I couldn't find nobody to like do it, the installation for me and everything. But I still, Stay focused. I still stay tunnel vision on it. And look at me now. Like, this, I'm finna be a year in with my shop. And I'm so thankful to God that he even gave me the vision to do this. And just gave me the idea within itself. On even, he even gave me the vision on how it was supposed to look like. And I'm just forever, like, grateful for that. And yeah. But for all the payment, like, install. For all the payments that I talk, just told you guys about, that was only for like necessities, like the shed, the sink, um, the vanity, the chairs. That's basically it. Like everything else extra that I had to pay for was like, um, like decorations and paint, which it didn't cost that much for that. But the seven hundred dollars that I first put in was just like for my necessities only. It wasn't for hair products, makeup products, my, um, I'm trying to think what else. My AC, my heater, that was just extra that I had to pay for. My steamer that I got in the bag, there. My steamer that I got in the bag, et cetera, et cetera. But still like, and I, all in all, like it wasn't that much. To me, it wasn't that much for my first shop, but I might be wrong. But this is the last and final thing. Like, I'm gonna just put y'all on. Majority of my decorations I got from Amazon. I got from Five and Below. I went to Marshall to look at stuff. And some stuff was just gifted to me by like people that I know. And I got my paint from Walmart, literally. And my paint still looks good. I only put two coats on it and it just, Still boom, still amazing. So y'all can do it, like you able to fund it. Y'all just gotta put the mindset and just start out. You don't need all the extra expensive stuff like to start out. Like I did not get expensive stuff like, I'm gonna pop it up on the screen. Like this um picture that I got on the wall, I literally went to Etsy and bought a digital download for like what, like two, three dollars. And I went to Walgreens and I got it printed out and I found a little cheap frame from Walmart. So like, y'all just have to try to find your little decorations. Like, you just gotta make it work, you know what I mean? But in all in all, like when I finished paying for everything, like everything, 
this whole total my shop probably ranged around like 10k ten thousand dollars which i don't know if that's bad or not but like for everything and that's including decorations everything that i've been seeing basically cut it short it's all in all like my shop is going to be like 10k when i get done finish everything which is not a lot but still like it was worth it also, thank you guys so much for all the love that y'all were showing me on my video and how I opened my shop and just just giving me my flowers. Like, I really appreciate it. I love reading y'all comments and just con everybody who was congratulating me. Like, I really appreciate it. And I just want to say thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to your girl. Okay? Period. But yeah. Alright y'all. We out. Bye.